The Animal Welfare League on Sydney's Western Fringe is the home of second chances. It's a little Australian terrier mix. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Here, dedicated staff and volunteers match the orphaned and abandoned with their forever families. I can't believe this. I'm crying. Did I take you home? It doesn't matter who you are, where you've been, or what you've achieved. Everyone deserves love in their lives. Mm -hmm. Comedy queen Denise Scott. Oh, hello. Hello. Survivor champions Mark Wales and Sam Gash. <laughs> Whether you've achieved as much as tennis legend Mark Philippoussis. Ready? Oh my goodness. Or reality star Ryan Gallagher. The mullet is coming back. Oh, isn't it? they're never coming back. <laughs> okay. Everyone deserves the loving companionship <laughs> of a dog. Oh my goodness. I'm excited, but I'm scared. Yeah. I just don't want to let a dog down. No. Australian comedy icon Denise Scott and her partner John Lane are on their way to try and win the heart of one of AWL's precious pooches. Oh, hello. Hello. Look who walks in, you national treasure. <laughs> I'm Denise Scott, and you probably know me from my modelling career, which was some time ago, but I've been working as a comedian for a long time, for about 134 years. <laughs> and what's the story? How'd you guys meet? Ah, oh, we met yes. as members of a clown troupe yes. in as, Albury. As we like to say, it was love at first. Oh, I'm a clown. <laughs> I know. John's body was really... <laughs> I would say luscious. John is famous for his smile, and I s spent years trying to wipe that smile off his face, but I couldn't. So many beautiful dogs. <laughs> hello. Hi. Hello. hello. How are you? Good. Good. And what are we doing here today? Well, we're looking for a new dog. Yeah, um, and what does that new dog look like? We're thinking on the smaller side. A smaller dog feels more within my comfort zone. Okay. And also, we've got um, a grandchild now who's only four months old, but it's going to be baby socially skilled <laughs> uh, or socialised with other dogs and with people. Okay. Um, and have we had animals before? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. We had um, Raffi for 15 years. Yeah. And when did Raffi pass? Oh, six, six years ago. Okay, so it's been a while since yeah. you had a dog. What has the, the six years been like without a dog? Mm. Uh, well, really, as much as <laughs> he's great, yeah. Um, there's been a, a, for sure, a lacking Raffi when he died. I pretty much took to my bed and have a chin and tonic and binge watch things because there'd also been a lot going on with my mum and Alzheimer's and there'd been a lot of other stuff happening. Yeah, I hadn't realised, I think, what Raffi had done for me. You know, I mean, I get up to go to work and to garden and yeah. to cook, but it really took, literally took the spring out of my step. At the same time, she was still getting quite a lot of work to do. Like, she put on this show that one best show at the Melbourne Comedy Festival, which is like a huge award. But um, when she'd come home, she'd kind of collapse a bit. And who's going to make this final decision? Well, you can have the final say. I've said if it. If necessary. Or we can separate. And I can <laughs> take, set the find another dwelling. <laughs> Absolutely. So then would you be open to two dogs? <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to adjust sort of to the idea of two dogs instead of one. I feel like the insides of my body are kind of fizzing. Oh. You know, like with, wow, this is it's like mind something. Blowing. It is mind-blowing. Oh, I feel the... open to that. Mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, I, I guess... <laughs> On that note, yeah. we're going to go and have a chat. You guys chill out and we'll be back soon. Yeah. Okay, great. 
an extraordinary amount of love getting a dog. Yeah, that dog might bring my spark back, even though... <laughs> Uh, well, we've got uh, comedy royalty out there today. Oh, yeah? yeah. So, uh, Denise Scott. Oh, yeah, nice. Um, and they're here looking for the new baby. Mm, definitely small dog. Yep. I think it's personality, personality, personality all the way for these guys. Yeah. yeah. So what's the other deal breakers? Sociability is a, is a huge deal breaker. So who are you guys thinking? We do have a Cocker Spaniel, which might be the right size, in little Remy. Oh, Remy. Super cute. So such handsome. A sweet boy. <laughs> we very rarely get dogs like Remy in here, so we're very lucky that we have someone so deluxe. He's six, and he's really, really. He came in because he wasn't getting on with the little children, grandchildren. So that would be obviously my biggest concern is we have. That's, a, that's a massive no be, then. Yeah, if they have grandchildren. So we, we do have um, lambkins. Lambkins, who is a three-year-old female. <laughs> <laughs> little Maltese mix. They came from a regional facility with many other small dogs, including Yoga. When I'm thinking about a dog that fits their description, it's Lambkins. Yeah, yeah. She's social and she likes being cuddled, but she has to come with Yoga. Yoga, who is a female, wide-haired Jack Russell mix, perhaps, maybe a bit of mini Foxy. Um, so very timid at first, does take a while to warm up. Um, so, I mean, we've really tried to, to separate them, but just didn't work so they definitely need to be together so if, if lambkins is comfortable around um john and denise then i dare say yoga will be as well okay which is good that's just something gonna have to compromise on is that you know not one dog there's two all we can do is see if they're open to it and go yeah. from there. we think we found a really good option yes we have we found an amazing option for you guys okay she sort of ticks all the boxes for you. Yeah. Um, so she's a little Maltese mix, we think. I think she's got Bichon in her as well. She's um, got this, like, powerful. amazing bouffant kind of hairdo. Uh, bouffant. She, yes. <laughs> I mean, yes. Um, and her name is Lambkins. Lambkins. She looks like a little lamb. She's about three years of age, but she's so sweet and handling-wise would be great with your grandchild. Um, and then she does come with her sister, Yoga. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. It's kind of an amazing story. So that we don't know that the two dogs were actually from the same home, but they got put in the same kennel at the regional facility right. and they bonded. Yeah. And we can't separate them now. Uh, so did you time. see us walking with this side around here? <laughs> Vulnerable. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not at all. Yeah. So Yoga, she's a, a mini foxy wire hair terrier kind of mix. Okay. So she's also really small. She's very timid. So she needs her emotional support dog in Lambkins. <laughs> One of the, I suppose, cons about having two dogs who, let's face it, have been dropped at a shelter is that maybe there's two lots of problems. Maybe it could be too much. It is a sort of a little heart-rending story, but they all dogs will have heart-rending stories, I'm sure. But yeah. So, would you like to meet them still? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, great. Amazing. Okay, well, let's let's, let's do it. Come on, guys. Two dogs. Oh no, that doesn't fit with my plan. But two dogs. <laughs> I tell you what, though, if they were selling vacuum cleaners, I'd buy one. They're very good. They're charming. <laughs> So this is little Lambkin. She's three and a half years old and she's our Maltese mix. Come on. Lambkin's favourite things to do would be going for big walks, uh, being a lap dog and getting picked up and carted around like a little princess. Lambkin's came in with a few other dogs. Uh, one dog in particular, Yoga, has been her little best friend here. Yoga is Eight years old, she's a little wide haired Jack Russell and she's quite timid, but she's quite sweet and has this funny little sassy personality once she gets to know you. I'm hoping that Yogi can go to someone that's going to be understanding that she's not going to be the sort of dog that's going to come bounding over to you straight away. Um, so just someone who's happy to give her that time and to go really slow. I would love if Lambkins and Yoga were able to be rehomed together, what Yoga was like to watch. She
just now is just an insane difference, and that's been because of lambkins. Oh my goodness. Have we ever done anything like this before? I don't think so. Good on us. Good on you for being a celebrity. <laughs> There's a double date afoot for Denise and John as they wait to meet bonded best friends, Lampkins and Yoga. I feel sick with anticipation. So after I first met John, I felt his positivity and smile had to be fake. Had to be. He's very positive, a lover of life. I think it's good we know there are two. Oh, yeah. yeah. I might have fainted. <laughs> Denise is brilliant. She's one of those people that feels things very deeply. So I feel uh, lucky to have spent most of my life with her. Good job, ladies. Look at Yoga go. Oh, there is. There's someone coming. Here we go. Good job. Oh. Come on, Yoga. I know it's scary in there. Oh, my God. Now they look like puppy. Oh, but they are my super God. sweet. As long as you guys go nice and slow with them, now they should warm up. Fine, she's going to be a little confident self, but then I feel like Yoga's just going to be hanging back. Oh, here we go. Let's see if anyone wants to play. <laughs> No. What are you doing? <laughs> Good sir. Uh, I think the uh, the biggest toy is not probably going to be something they're going to go towards and play with. <laughs> Here we go. I'm showing off now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lampkin, get in the act. <laughs> no. They don't want to get circus tricks. <laughs> Now that they've kind of, you know, had that initial excitement, I hope they don't get to a point where they start to overthink it. Yeah, is it going to be now, are they too quiet? Are they not playful enough? Yeah. Here's Scotty. <laughs> mm. I think ever since uh, Raffi died, it sounds dramatic, but I've had real, it's low level, but a kind of just a little depression. I've had parents die, friends, family members die. And when I dealt with grief, I didn't slump. And I got out of bed and I went on with life. But something about Raffi dying, I did. I slumped. Would you like another bit of treat? Yeah. Yeah, Lampkins. And in fact, you know, that was part of not getting a dog as soon as possible because I just felt I needed time to grieve this dog that I just loved. Come here, come here. Gotta try something. I'm gonna try picking you up. Have a little go. Come on. Here we go. Oh, oh yes. Lampkins are just loving it. Lampkins is like this is just the best. I'll go find yoga. Yoga? Yoga? Hey, yoga. I am concerned yoga's going to go. Come on, yoga. I am yeah. worried that yoga will shut down um, and that that might put them off. Come on, yoga. How do you feel about being picked up? No, mate, yoga's a bit more timid. But look here, look. Look here. There we go. Yes. Oh. Oh, it's a bit of a freeze. Yeah, she's a bit timid. She's like, yeah. Just like that. Oh. Oh. She's stressed a little bit. She's panting quite heavily. Mm. Um, that tail's like, tucking under, but she is generally an uncomfortable dog. Yeah, very timid. Hey, yoga. <laughs> What type of dog you want? Uh, 
island. So I you want a red dog? Yeah, a blue dog. Looking for a furry friend for their young son Harry, a survivor champion, Mark Wales, with wife and fellow survivor competitor, Sam Gash. Hey. Hey. Hello. 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 <laughs> you know Survivor? Survivor? Mummy and Daddy met on Survivor. No, mother, mother, not looking. He's like, I'm sick of Survivor. <laughs> <laughs> so whose idea was it to get a dog? It's actually Sammy's idea. Oh, okay. So Mark and Harry have wanted a dog, but I've probably been putting the brakes on it for a couple yeah. of years. I can tell how much Mark and Harry want a dog. <laughs> yeah, I know. He clearly uh, needs a, he needs uh, a friend. Bye bye, Harry. Thanks. Say bye bye. Bye bye. I want a dog. This one. I like that. Do you want this doggy? A flaming doggy. You want a flaming doggy? <laughs> doggy. Denise and John are getting to know Lampkins and her timid bestie, Yoga. Love. Billy. Mm. Come here, Rob. Right. Well, I don't know about them getting me off the bed. I reckon they'll just be I'll just be on the bed. <laughs> Patting. Oh look. Was actively looking for pats then, Yoga. Yeah. Yoga is blowing my mind. Yoga without lambkins would have never have done this would have never have come up to them never been confident enough for handling ah oh, there you go you can relax relax just enough to sit you want to come down here that's so sweet she likes denise yoga yeah we do i thought there was going to be one you know Great dog and ah, one there we go. mess of a dog, Look, if now. that's possible. But there's two beautiful dogs. Uh, yeah. I hope that they are happy with two dogs. It is a big ask. They didn't come here to meet two dogs. They came here to get a dog. Hey, hey how there. did you guys go? Oh. Well, terribly, as you can see. Oh, yeah, it looks like they're hating yeah. all this attention. Yeah shift. Well, one of them is, you know, is a bit frightened, a bit scared, and that's not what we came here to get. Oh, I think um, Yoga's quite keen to keep up with Lampkins facing this reality of having two dogs, is will our life style accommodate that? A dog each, Scotty. How I was famous, I think I'd be famous for rescuing the weirdest animals, like earthworms. If Nicola was famous, she'd be a really good person at the beta. And it doesn't even matter what the topic is, I guarantee she would win. I'd be famous for being right 99% of the time. Ah, uh, <laughs> I think Nicola always thinks she's right. <laughs> if I was to be famous for something, it'd probably be... Hangry? Hangry. Sassy. I like to use the word sassy. The best way to my heart is probably a chalky bar. I'd probably be famous for uh, being a bit of a mumbler, so having my own language. You'll sort of walk away from a conversation and have no idea what he just said, and I just have to sort of nod my head and pretend I've heard it, and you'll have to go back later and be like, what did I just agree to? Thanks, guys. <laughs> AWL, Taylor and Courtney are hoping to make some dreams come true for the Gash Wales family. Now, what are we doing here today? Well, we hope to get a doggy for our family. And what does that doggy look like? Well, blue. <laughs> sure. <laughs> and do you guys have much experience with dogs? I do, yeah. Okay. And Sam, have you had any dogs? No, I'm the opposite okay. of Mark. Oh. I've had no experience okay. with dogs. Okay. Um, and I was attacked by a dog as a kid, so I think okay. I have been really reluctant to get a dog. Okay. So it was at a garden nursery, and the dog was by this big hedge, kind of the, just before the toilet block. And I was trying to go to the toilet, and the dog was growling, and I was trying to get past, and, and it just went down and kind of scraped me down my back. Oh, okay. It um, definitely carried through for... Yeah. I've always had a fear of dogs. Yeah. Okay. But I see how much Mark wants one. He's a bit of an animal whisperer. Oh. Harry's the same. Yeah, OK. I love seeing that side of the two of them. Yeah. yeah. So I've melted and realised I can get over my fear. Are you after something a bit smaller? Yeah, something that... 
um, both myself and Harry feel like we can manage. Yeah. yeah. Um, physically. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. And then also, do you want to see some kittens? Do you want to get taken around for the kittens? Yeah. Flail was going to take you to see some kittens. Do you want to high five first? Oh, ah. <laughs> so, um, age then as well. Do you have an age range, puppy? I wouldn't be averse to puppies if you got them. That's right. No. Um, yeah. It's more for us. We are looking for the right fit for our family. Okay. No. Mind you, your dream pooch. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, thank right. you. Thank you. Cheers. So we have got obviously a three-year-old child. Yeah, yeah. And then we've also got Sam. Yeah, so Sam actually had an incident when she was a kid where yeah. a large dog actually scratched her. She was quite fearful of dogs her whole life by the sounds of it. And yeah, they okay. are open to puppies as okay, well. Okay, cool. Oh, that sounds good. So who are you guys thinking? One option we have is Dutchie. Dutchie! Dutchie! <laughs> Oh, this is really So, I mean, he is a, an American staffy mix, so he's not going to be huge in size, like medium ish. Is he going to be just top, like over the top of that height range that they're looking for? Oh, Dutch, he's actually quite small. I think he obviously could be the run of the litter or something. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So, he actually could work out quite well. So, while we're talking about puppies, we also have Suki. Is that oh, Suki? Yeah. yeah. A nice little mixed breed, maybe dash hound. Um, so they're a three-month-old, smaller breed. Yeah. Um, and Suki seems to be the smallest of the, the litter that was here as well. Yeah. So in yeah. comparison, Dutchy and Suki, who's probably going to be more confident when I say hi to Harry and Sam herself, who's going to be quite nervous as well. I do know Suki has been around kids. I think I'm leaning towards Suki as well in terms of yeah. the size is really going to suit them. Yeah. Especially for Sam, who's a first-time dog owner. In that case, I think we'll go with Suki. Yeah. 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 It's good. a hard one, but yeah. It's a hard one, all right. Guess so, what? Guess what? We found a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's a girl. A oh, little girl. Wow. And her name is Suki. 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 <laughs> Breed-wise, mum was like a dash hound terrier mix, so we're not sure what dad was, but she's yeah. so social. Um, yeah. And she's lived with kids in foster homes. How she's old? met with other dogs three months. <gasps> oh, my God. Um, so you guys feel about a three month old. Are you ready to look after a baby? Yeah. Uh -huh. A baby puppy? Okay, good boy. <laughs> all right. Okay. All right, so Harry, would you like to go meet the puppy? Okay. Yeah. All right, let's, let's go. Let's go. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. <laughs> I mean, Harry is really my everything, and I know it's the same for Mark as well. I was getting to a place in my life where I wasn't sure if I'd be able to have a child. I was in my mid-30s, um, so when Harry came along, it literally transformed my life from the moment that I found out I was pregnant. Oh, you ready to meet Suki? I feel like I'm nervous. Are you nervous? A little bit nervous, yeah. yeah. You have all these achievements in life, and you think that's a big deal when it happens, and you realise it's, it's actually not that much of a big deal compared to having a family. I do feel like there's a shift in our life right now where we are seeking because it's where your family is growing up. Excited? You gonna give it a cuddle when you meet it? Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Good work. Oh, you're such a great girl, aren't you? So these guys are little dash down cross terriers. <laughs> so dash hounds are cheeky little things. Um, they do have quite a big dog personality for a little dog body. They're very, very sweet though. Uh, they do love their people. They've just got that little spark of life to them. So, Suki, uh, like her name, is a little bit of the sookiest of the litter. She does love a cuddle. She can be a little cheeky, but like most puppies, she loves all food. She's very energetic. She's a very, very cute girl. It would be amazing for her to be with a family that can grow up together. It's the most special thing, having a young child and a puppy. Oh, we're running now. Yes. I know. Oh. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. She's so tiny. <laughs> I gotta keep up with my little legs. Good work. Let's go meet some friends. Arriving at AWL in a quest to fill the hole in his heart is Married at First Sight star, 
Ryan Gallagher. Hey. Hey, how are you? I'm doing amazing. How are you doing? I'm pretty good. I'm the mullet. It's coming back, oh, isn't it? Oh, they're never coming back. <laughs> okay, you're not doing it heavily. Well, that's weird anyway. Well, firstly, nice to meet you. Um, yeah. My name is Viola. Welcome. Thank you. I'm Ryan. <laughs> yeah, you look familiar. I think I recognise you from a particular show. Yeah, you meet a girl at the altar. Okay, okay. Uh, you don't know who she is. Okay. And then you marry her. Okay, and then uh, how do you... Now I say it back, it was very silly to do, but uh, <laughs> I did it. So what do you do for work? I uh, stand-up comedy. Okay, tell me your drink, I'm ready. Hit me. I've got a, a dog one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I had so much hope for you. I oh, know, yeah, it's not <laughs> I kind of a dog. Anyway, it was... Yeah, see, uh... People will probably learn a lot from dogs. They bring out just different things in people. Um, I still do the, hey, how you going? I like talking to, I don't know what that voice was, it was awful. Um, I do the high-pitched voice to, I'll cross the street to pat a dog. I just, I love dogs. Um, I'm here for any questions, okay? Thank you so much. I no. appreciate it. Just a feeling you don't get from anything else, I guess. You can't get it from a marriage to anyone. You can't get it from a, a loved one. A dog is just totally different. I think it's also, even when you're with someone, you've got that feeling of what if they don't want to be with me anymore. A dog, you've never got that feeling. He's not going to wake up in the morning and go, anyway, I've packed me things, I'm off. I've got the cab out the front. Dash and Cross Pup Suki is about to meet her potential new family. Right, there she goes. They're coming, they're coming. Ready? Go! Hi, guys. Oh, my Harry, goodness. look at the puppy. Yeah. Baby, <laughs> oh, my. Look at the puppy. How good is that reaction? Harry, look. Good, yeah. Look. Oh. <laughs> the tail's going a thousand miles an hour. So much going on for her. Go, Suki. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> Sam's doing really well. Like, we all know small dog for us, like, not intimidating at all. But once yeah. you've had such an incident, like, you're quite fearful of any size dog. And I think Sam's doing really well. Wow. She's behind you. Oh, she wants, to, she wants to run. Go chase her. Chase her, chase her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go, Harry. Quick, quick, quick. Ah. Yeah. No, she's not gonna... <laughs> He's not scared, though, is he? No. <laughs> I feel so emotional about this. You can't go and tell me. It's very playful. Oh, look at her. Is she crying? Aww. Is that your buddy? <laughs> <laughs> Too much. I think Sam's probably a bit emotional actually like seeing that um, her three year old son is, is playing with a little puppy. Yeah, especially having that fear of dogs, you know. She didn't get this opportunity to grow up with a puppy. Mm. A little kiss. Oh. This is our first, like, family pet. We haven't even had a goldfish. I feel like this is a big deal for us. Give her, give her a little scratch behind the ears, Harry, like this. A little scratch. Dental. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's that's nice. Do you want to wait? Can you wish me? <laughs> Did you like that little lick? Yeah. Yeah, was that nice? Yeah. I hope they know how much work this is. So, I mean... <laughs> so exciting and so like thrilling when you see this puppy but we all know how difficult puppies can be yeah, yeah. Well, i'll just say good luck uh, uh -huh. three and a three month old puppy bye i'll take my hat yeah. off too <laughs> hi how are we doing oh it's great it's a magic yeah. dog yeah she's lovely you owe a dog a good life <clears throat> so for me it's just living up to that responsibility is, is gonna be the hardest bit hi hi how would you guys like to take her for a walk yeah, yeah. We'll if we didn't pick her up she'd go straight Way. And so someone else could love her, you know. So we would hate to not do the right thing by her. Yeah. Good man. You hope it's bad. So I gather you're here today to find a new best friend? I am. I'd love a best friend. I, uh, right. It's been years since I lost mine, and I think I'm ready to have a new one. And who is that? Bully. That was me. My dog, he was a cocker spaniel. Aww. He was my best mate. We used to do everything together. He'd come to the gym, he'd come to Bunnings, and when I lost him, I just, I crumbled. Tell us how life has been without a dog for a year. Um, it's actually the only time in my life I haven't had one. I actually gave up drinking when I lost him because I, I just thought about turning to the bottle because I just felt so bad and I scared myself and I just went, I'm done, and then I just, I haven't drank since. Um, yeah, that he, he, he 
really tore me to bits. So yeah. it's taken you a year to kind of get to a point where you feel ready? That's right, and I think well, I want an older dog. And I want that because I think he would want me to have save a dog that just needs his last few years that no one else would give him. You know, you want a farm? Yeah, I want a farm. Have we got other animals on the property? Yeah, we do. Um, my dad's got a cocker spaniel okay. as well. Mm -hmm. So they're on the property with you, your parents? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yep. um, dad's got Parkinson's. It's a, it's a real rare type where he can't walk or talk. He's in a scooter. Okay. And his okay. dog's my companion dog. It follows him everywhere. And mum's got two Frenchies. And my brother's dog's a bull mastiff thing. Most general thing. My brother's a paraplegic wheelchair too. So that's his companion okay. dog. So oh, he's around a lot, the bull mastiff yeah, yeah, as well? Yeah, yeah. Lots of dogs. Lots of dogs, yeah. So, I mean, when you're looking, when you're looking at dogs, do you have any specific breeds you're looking for? I just love a big one. A, a big, big one? Yeah, just a big, sad dog. You know when they just look sad, but they're, they're just, yeah, you just want to, like, <laughs> that's what I want. Yep. I don't want them to be sad. I just want yeah. them to look a bit depressed. <laughs> <laughs> I need a dog. Because it's not, I want that dog next to me, it's I need that dog next to me. It's definitely a need because I miss it. It was saying goodbye to it. It wasn't even a dog. It's a best friend and a loved one. All right. Well, we're going to go have a chat Beauty. and see if we can find you a dog to fatten up. It's really exciting. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, that's it. All righty. Thank you. He wasn't a dog to me. It's family. That's the word. Family. And this one will be too. Excited? It's very exciting, I must say. <laughs> After losing his canine companion last year, Ryan is ready for a new best friend. I've never been through a process like this before meeting a dog. Yeah, yeah, you've been, well, not a dog, but... No. Uh... <laughs> and he's put his faith in the AWL matchmakers. He would like a large, sad dog. A large, sad dog. Sad dog. And he just really wants a mate to go everywhere with him. I love Oscar. No, I it's a see. big full mastiff cross. <laughs> well, I was there when he got surrendered and he was just a really gentle soul. Like, you know, and he's got those human-like eyes that just stare at you all day. Yeah, yeah. The only thing with Oscar, um, the reason actually why he came into our camp was because he was having tips with the other dog in their home. Mm. Obviously, if they've got smaller dogs, I don't yeah. think Oscar would be the right choice. Okay. Yep. So we do uh, have Milo, who's on with the older oh, yes. dogs in our camp at the moment. Oh, Hello, gorgeous. Oh. <laughs> Milo is um, a ten and a half year old female Kelpie mixed breed. Yep. Milo walks nicely on the lead and seems to be happy around other dogs. She likes rolling in the grass, adores water, and sniffing new things. She does so like to roll in the grass. We do her assessment. All she kept doing was roll around the grass. So, how did Milo come in? Milo's um, owner was actually coming to euthanize the dog because they said there was something wrong with his leg. And I, when I got out of the car, I looked over at Milo and I was like, "Well, what's wrong?" And he couldn't give me a proper answer. So I was like, well, that's not happening. Can you surrender to us and we'll find her a good home? And does she have any medical issues? She's been checked over and she's made a good clue. Oh. No, she's a really sweet girl. I think she's a really good choice for Ryan. Yeah. Well, I think that the decision is, is an easy one today, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, I think Milo is your appropriate choice for him. We actually had a pretty easy decision this time for yep. you. Oh, yeah. Normally it takes quite a bit of debate for us to... Is the decision no? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, there is the door. Please exit this way. So yep. we have a little girl. Her name is Milo. Oh. She's over 10 years. She's about 10 and a half. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's a Kelpie. A Kelpie and a girl. Yes. Thrown in a twist. <laughs> <laughs> Milo's her name. She knows it. I mean, obviously changing names, it can be done. It's just very hard when they're older. Well, I did have Doug in mind, uh, so <laughs> I'm not going to call it Doug. <laughs> so Milo's fine. <laughs> she just really likes to be loyal right by your side. Good. Um, I think it's... Told me you knew it. It's a really That's good That's exactly match. what I wanted. Yeah. I just want some, yeah. um, a companion more than a dog. <laughs> yeah, that's right. My know. life's changed ridiculously since I first started doing telly. Um, I've, I've been able to do stand-up. For the last four years, I've just been living the dream. All right, okay. should we make this happen? Let's go. Yep. That's like with the girlfriend thing, I, I, I suppose I just don't know if there's room for one. I'm filling that void with a dog. Hi! Hello, Milo. This here is Milo, who is a almost 11-year-old Kelpie mix. Kelpies as a breed are quite intelligent and very active, and Milo...
does enjoy being really active with her family. Milo has been an absolute superstar with the other animals here at the shelter. She is quite a good all-rounder. One thing we have noticed about Milo here is that once she forms a bond with someone, she wants to be around that person and she's very loyal and just really loves people's company. I really hope that Milo can find a really loving, committed home to spend her golden years in. Come on. He looks nervous. He looks, yeah, he looks nervous, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, let's hope Milo can be that little space Spanky filler. Yeah, yeah. Yes. the spark. I don't get nervous about anything, I'm quite nervous to meet it. Maybe it don't like me, maybe it turns around and goes, no, and then it turns around I'll be devastated. Of course I want it to like me, yeah. I mean, it's going to take time, obviously, but I want something that's just going to be very loving. Like he doesn't want to be rejected. Now I reckon he's one of those guys that wants the dog to instantly be all about him, but yeah, it takes time. You've got to be patient. The real Ryan is not the person off TV. I don't reckon. That's why I'm single as well. When I meet girls, it's sort of they expect someone else, and and I'm not a star person. The real Ryan is at a farm, Aww. and he's he's dressed in tracky dacks, and he loves making people laugh. Myself. That's a good way to put it. Oh. Yeah. He's very much like, love me, love me, love me, love yeah. me, love me. No, his other dog did everything with him and his other dog gave him all that love. He's kind of been very publicly unlucky in human love as well. So yeah, I think, that's, I think that's probably the major cause. He's full out blah, blah, kind of stuff. So he's, uh, yeah. he's missing that. Milo. Milo. Oh, you're very good, actually. No, no, you're not. Come here. Would you want to be a boy or a girl? A girl. What do you think we should call her? Hello, Squash. Hello, Squash. <laughs> Tennis legend and two-time Davis Cup winner Mark Philippoussis is here with his family looking for a canine playmate. The most chit-chatting person in my family is my mom. I can't care. <laughs> <laughs> the loudest in the family, I it's think, Maya. is Maya. She has a beautiful voice, but it's a loud, beautiful <laughs> voice. Hi. 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 Your mom. Mark and Silvana. <laughs> Silvana, hi. And, and here's Maya. And I have seen you before, Mark. Yes. Um, tennis player, right? Yes. <laughs> I played in a great era of tennis because when I started off, I played Agassi, you know, Sampras, um, Boris Becker, Ivanisevic, and then to where, you know, Federer, Nadal, you know, pretty cool era to be a part of. So whose idea was it to come here today? Oh, all of us all together of us, as, a, yeah. Yeah, as, a, as a family, as a yeah. team. Family has always been priority. That's right. No matter what you do in your personal life, business life, end of the day, and it's about when you go home, you know, who do you have waiting for you when you get home? All right, thank you. <laughs> In the meeting pen, Milo is yet to warm to Ryan's charms. Milo, come here. Come sit here. Come sit here. I won't do that. What all Ryan's thinking? Your girl? I think it was different to what he expected. Excuse me? She did a 
initially run straight up to him on lead. You know, it'd be nice to have that companion for him that he can sort of lean on. She can lean on him and he can lean on her. Malo. 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 Doug. Oh, Doug. Okay, Doug it is. Oh, you should. Her little tail's already going. <laughs> Milo. Doug. Milo. Doug. Oh my god, it is a Doug. You're a Doug. You're a Doug. <laughs> oh my so god, cute. look. He's a good girl. He's a good girl. He's a good girl, yeah. Yeah. Milo's future on the farm looks like lots of love. love? <laughs> just, just, come here, give me cuddle. Come here, give me cuddle. Come here, give me cuddle. Huh? Yeah. I'm pretty dog. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the yum. The yum. How's it going? Milo opened up a little bit towards the end. All right, we can take her for a walk. Yeah. Okay, you ready to go, little miss? Yeah, look, if, if, I, if I took her home... The only thing that concerns me a little bit is I hope she warms up to me and she almost rejected me, I guess. I felt a bit like past uh, experiences. I rescued a dog 13 years ago um, in California. We lost him end of last year. He passed away. He was over 15 years old. And he was an incredible dog. Wow. And um, it was a Malamute mix. Oh, beautiful. OK, so we're after the larger breed of dog? Or? I would say no, because he was a big dog. Yeah. He was, what, not just around 90, 90 pounds. And I just thought something small to mid-size. Yeah. Um, playful, love mm -hmm. the ocean is important. Mm -hmm. You know, we'd like to go, you know, go We're to places. We're always doing something. Yeah. Like, you know, I love keeping the kids, you know, active, outdoors, yes. activities, tennis, swimming, surfing, out on the beach as much as possible. And is it important that the dog likes tennis balls? Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, uh, the kids love throwing uh, tennis balls, whatever, yeah. and, like, having the dogs bring them back. Yeah. Okay. yeah, he would get the dog tied, and these guys would be tied, too. Yeah. So that's a good thing. That's a win-win for mummy and daddy. Perfect, yeah. perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. What's the age we're looking for in this new dog? To be honest, as young as you know, we had puppies. I'd yeah. like to say under a year. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. For them to form that bond, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to having that energy around the house again. Of course. Yeah. I'm very ready. We are. We are very ready. We are cautiously very ready. All right, guys. Well, we're going to head back, have a chat, see what we've got. We'll be right back up with you. Okay. All right. Thank perfect. Thank you. <laughs> We'll also send the children back as well. I think they're just like, playing oh, with I the cats. Keep the children. Oh. Just keep <laughs> oh, hello. Hello. Oh. Who's this? This is Rigby. Rigby. Oh, 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 hi. Hi. Hello. You want some tricks? Yeah, watch this. What tricks are you doing? And I'll show you. <laughs> Wait. Oh, no way. Stop. Wait. Yes. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Talk. Oh, oh, guess who we have, Sam? Who do you have? Mark Philippousis. Oh, really? Awesome. Yes. yes. <laughs> and family. And family. Yeah. What kind of, they're looking for a younger dog, in that sense. Yeah, yeah. they're really yeah. keen on a puppy. Like, puppy. Said, yeah. ideal age yeah. is under 12 months old. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Yes. So, who are you guys thinking? What about Captain? <laughs> he's a pretty big puppy. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's a big puppy. But hey, he's still under that 12 months old age. Cattle cross. Yeah, full arm cross cattle or something. Yeah. Yeah, he's full of energy. The dog will just run and run and run and super energetic, which is good. Yeah. It's just the fact that he doesn't know his own size and he will knock the kids up, especially the little three year old. He'll run into it and just knock her flying. Too much. Yeah. We do also have Davey, Border Collie pup, who I think would be a really good fit. She's like that perfect age, 13 weeks old. 13 weeks old, yeah. She's a smart little cookie with lots of energy to burn. <laughs> and she's very excitable. She takes a while to calm down when meeting new people. <laughs> she loves water. Perfect. And she loves chasing tennis balls. <laughs> oh my God. Look perfect. at that. Perfect dog. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> tick, tick, tick. Davey uh, came with a little sibling. Um, yeah, they were dropped off in the overnight box, which is pretty sad. Um, so obviously the owner didn't want them and just put yeah. them off. And, and 
We did the right thing, and now they're ready for adoption. Yeah. Yay. So yeah. I think, yeah, we've hit the nail on the head with this yeah. one. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Team uh, Davey. Introduce Davey. Let's right, go. Good luck. All right, guys. We found you a beautiful little girl. Oh. Her name is Davey. Davey. Oh, Davey. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. She is a Border Collie Cross. Border Collie Cross. Border oh, yeah. Cool. Oh, okay. yeah. cool. And she's 13 weeks old. Oh. She's 13 weeks old, she's a puppy. Yeah, how are you guys feeling? I think excited. excited and relieved, to be honest. I was yeah. stressing here. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no, no stress. Yeah, well, because no. Cool, it was like, almost like a blind date. Yeah. <laughs> Were you ready to meet her? Yes. Yes? yes. 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 All right, let's go, guys. Let's yes. go meet little Davey. Oh, let's go. We met 2012 in uh, Los Angeles. Yeah. And I said we'd meet up for a drink. And then he ended up staying and having dinner too. And yeah. She, yeah. Wouldn't, she wouldn't let me leave. Yeah. between the public persona and the real Mark is like quite big. They saw the fast cars, they saw the beautiful, you know, ladies and his amazing lifestyle and they just assumed, you know, he was a certain way. But in reality, he's the complete opposite. Ah, uh, thank you, Daddy. Oh, look at this place. Oh, wow. I've always been kind of myself, but now even more so because of my family. I think people often think it's arrogance instead of it's more and, and, and not that person at all that I thought and I apologise, I said there's nothing to apologise, it's no problem at all, you know. Maya, are you excited to see Davy? Yeah. She sounds amazing. The kids have grown up with dogs their whole life. Yeah, big day for them. And their dog come in and try and fill that hole mm. of losing a, a companion. They're massive day from. Is that her? Yeah, yeah it's Ready? Wow. Oh my goodness. Hoping to win the hearts of the Philippoosis family is little Collie Cross Pup, Davey. Yeah, Davey. Is that her? Yes. Yeah, All right, here we go. Come on, Davey. Ready? Wow. Oh, my goodness. Nicholas is so excited. 
Christmas, Pompey. Yeah. A little Davy is just feeding off his energy. Oh, 100%. Oh, 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 The kids are doing really well, but at the same time, they're very excited. Yeah. And, and kids and puppies just increase the energy in the room tenfold when yeah. you stick them together. Hi, Daisy. Just calm down, right? Hi, beautiful. I like her licking because I'm licking. Oh, oh. <laughs> you had butted each other, or she had butted you? You okay? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Careful, you okay? I think Davy had butted him. Let's get Brianna to show you that you know, Davy can sit with treats and calm down that way. You're bleeding? Yeah. Oh yeah, just a little. Um, yeah, no. Yeah. Well, it's got tiny. She's got tiny sharp. Yeah. Teeth, that's all. <laughs> You know what? She's going to call for energy, so you need to calm down too, oh, yeah. Nicholas. No more running around, please. Yes, I know. They're trying to get the kids to stay calm, so she's calm. Yeah. I just hope that they're not sort of saying they go, maybe she's a bit too much energy, and she might knock the kids over. And Families. Families. I think we're both Families. raised yeah. the same, that where family has always been priority. That's right. Do you guys want some treats? We can practice making her sit. Yeah. Okay. You want to do that, Maya? As an athlete, and I think especially as a tennis player, you have to be very selfish because... All, all your priority is built around playing your best on the court. Exactly. Good. Yeah, that's perfect. Good Being a parent and a husband is completely opposite. Do you guys have any ideas for what kind of a cross she's, um, you know, just wondering. I'm just looking at her to see what, what... I wonder what else she's mixed with. Yeah. yeah. Like that Maybe he's concerned whether it's about the size thing, what uh, sort of breeds are mixed in there with the Collie Cross. Uh, I think there's cattle in, in her by her markings. Um, what I'm saying, she's gonna have a little bit of wear up in it. How do we feel about going for a walk? Yeah, that would be great. Do you guys want to go for a walk with Davy? I was just really trying to. I don't want to say pick off all the boxes because that's super unfair. Because you know, when I rescued Mika, um, he didn't tick off any of the boxes. It's just the connection that I had with him. And, and I must say, with her, I didn't have the connection. I had a little connection. Yeah. This way, guys. Come on. Davy's had such a rough start to life, you know, being dropped off in a box at the mm. regional facility. Yeah. Um, how good would it be if she now gets adopted by the Philippines? Mm. Uh, yeah. I think that'd be a great turnaround. Yeah, I mean, this is such a lovely family. Davy! <laughs> Davy, oh! <laughs> She's a great addition to the family. Come on, Libby. Hello, puppy. Oh. So we have decided to change Suki's name to Winnie. Winnie slipped into the family really well. I think the biggest shift really is for me that I never thought that I'd be a dog person and I feel like Winnie gravitates to me and I gravitate to her. Come on, come on. Harry loves her now. We both love her, so she's, she's in the family. Yeah. She's not going anywhere. She's not going anywhere. <laughs> I love you too. I love you too. Yeah. <laughs>
AWL meeting Milo um, was nice. She had a very uh, friendly personality. Ooh. Milo didn't really give me much affection at the start, so I wasn't really too sure whether Milo actually liked the match or not. I did, uh, but Milo didn't seem to be in it. was definitely one I thought was going to go down that alley. Hippa, hippa, come, come here, darling. Jeez, oh, my girl. Oh, kiss is yum. But I brought her home. And uh, it has gone to plan, and she's now called Pepper. Life's definitely changed with Pepper. I've got my friend back again. It has not taken much for her to adapt to a farm because she's very smart. She's already adapted well in my heart. It feels bloody good having, I wouldn't say her oh, best friend, like a companion. ask for it. Please. Yes, that's the special word. That is nice. So meeting David, it was like action packed. <laughs> I'm not sure if you were quite ready. I, I wasn't ready. I just felt like I put these unfair expectations on no matter what dog came through that door because of the connection I had with Mika. And I was scrutinizing everything. And just so many things are going through my mind. Come on, Maya. Stick together. So we were driving. And then we called. I just said, get the paperwork ready. Daisy! beautiful thing because she's got a, a different relationship with everybody yeah, I agree. with me she's so mellow and with mark she's very like, controlled and then with the kids she's just a ball All of energy the place, so. like the same as <laughs> good girl davy she's growing too i did see pretty much identical dog and their adult is definitely on the medium size it won't go into large but anyway even if she does we've fell in love with her already yeah, it's, it's too late, late. <laughs> Finally, we decided to keep lambkins. Yoga. <laughs> Come, on. Come on, lambkins. Lamb Yoga. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh, nice. Now I'm thinking, who wouldn't get two dogs? Like, <laughs> it's a bonus. <laughs> they are so bonded that it's been joyful. Yoga is way less timid. In fact, not really timid at all. Look, <laughs> yes, they have put a spring in your step. Nothing seems to put a spring in my step, but, oh my goodness, I'm walking. I mean, yes, slowly, and I'm not stressed now. But, yeah, just generally um, happier. I think it's incredible how relaxed they are. Oh, I know. It's not pharmaceuticals. No. There's all this extra love going on, being expressed in all directions. It's beautiful. As another day draws to an end, five more happy pups have found their new homes. Those that remain behind can get some much-needed rest, dreaming that their forever family is just around the corner.